Hi everyone, today we are going to take uh, a barbed wire mesh that is straight and then we are going to take a spline and make uh, a curved barbed wire mesh that follows that spline. So what we are looking at right now is the example scene 29 but we are going to start a scene from scratch and do all the steps one by one. The mesh deformation is going to be done through the curvy generator and uh, using the new deform mesh module. This mesh takes an input mesh, uh, spots or locations where to put that mesh, and then uh, a spline, so a path or volume that will be used to deform the mesh. So. First thing, we are going to give uh, this curvy generator a mesh. So I'm using uh, this barbed wire mesh. It's just a straight one. Uh, I'm going to set its material and also reduce its scale. The mesh I uh, downloaded is a bit too big. Not a bit, <laughs> it's 10 times too big. <laughs> So I attached the mesh. Next, I need the spline. So I'm going to draw a spline here. Okay. I'm going to drop it here. Use global space. I need to first rasterize the path. Then give it here. Let's put things like this. Uh, next is the spots input. We are going to use the transform spots module. There are other modules that generate spots. Uh, in this one, we use uh, a transform from the scene to define where the spot will be located. So I'm creating an empty game object that I'm going to name uh, location and assign it to this uh, spot and then link the spot. Okay. Uh, let me just reorder the modules. Okay, now it's a bit more organized. Uh, next, now that we have linked all the inputs, now we have to connect the outputs. So we are going to use the create mesh module to transform our virtual mesh, um, let's say a curvy generator mesh, to a unity one. And we link the spots too. And now if everything was configured properly, we should see this. So as you can see, when I'm moving my uh, location game object, the the mesh is also uh, moving and deformed properly uh, according to the spline so we want more than one mesh to fill our spline so we can use this module to create another one another spot sorry that will lead to create an, another mesh so let's give it another location game object. So I copied this one, I duplicated it, and then I assign it here. And now if I move this one, as you can see, we have now two. But you can imagine, imagine it will be fastidious to uh, create multiple ones and then uh, place them one by one. What we want to do is to make this automatic. And this can be done through another module that creates spots, which is the volume spots. So we're going to delete this one. We don't need it anymore. And we're going to use this one. I'll go to full screen. So I'm going to connect its output to the deform mesh input. So it needs a rasterized path. We have one here and it also needs bounds so uh, we are going to use the bounds the bounding box of our uh, input mesh so that way it will know how to place 
the the spots let me reorder this again all right so as you can see now we are we are using this uh, module to generate nine spots and these nine spots are translated into uh, or lead into the creation of nine uh, meshes one last thing the empty space here at the end of the supply uh, as you can see uh, when it becomes big big enough to uh, have uh, a mesh in it a mesh is created automatically but if you want to fill just this empty space then you can use uh, the stretch to end parameter what it does is that it takes all the existing uh, meshes and stretch all of them uh, accordingly so that uh, the space is filled and yeah that was the last point uh, i hope this tutorial helped uh, you can always check the example scenes this one uh, that i showed you in the beginning and also this one that uh, uses this rail block and uh, makes a rail track out of it and as you can see uh, mesh deformation can be done in real time uh, and the performance are of course way better in uh, play mode than in edit mode thank you and have a nice day